Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nay Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be doing a gorgeous butterfly design with a little bit of a twist. Let's get cracking. So to start off this design, we're going to go in with a gorgeous nude that we've released. Um, it's got a pink undertone. I don't think I've used it before, but it's absolutely stunning. Let me show you what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think it will be perfect for our background. So I'm going to go in and apply two thin layers of this. And then we can start painting. What was it called, that one? Seduction. Oh, seduction. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was trying to do that, but it just didn't work now. Just blue air. Yeah, just blue air. Maybe oh, well. I should just stick to nails, yeah? <laughs> Got this. So I'm now going to go in with a gorgeous color that we've just released that's called Enchanted um, Forest. And it's such a beautiful color. It's got like iridescent um, glitter in it and it's just stunning so I'm gonna apply a nice thin layer on this nail we can of course build it up if you want a little bit more glitter but yeah put that on and then we're gonna uh, cure this for about 30 seconds so I'm now gonna go in with my triple zero three brush and I've also prepped a little bit of serious black on my palette as well as snow white. I'm gonna start with painting a border around this snail because uh, I think you will look a lot nicer with the border. But uh, let me just say something about this border in general, actually. Uh, it's nice to have a border and it doesn't matter if the, the lines at the top here and at the bottom are thin. But because the nail is curved, you want to be adding a border that's slightly thicker so you can see it from the front, right? Because it's curved and if you do a thin line over here, you can barely see the border. So don't uh, be afraid to go ahead and just kind of thicken the line on the side. So I've done a thin um, border on the top, but on the side, I'm going to actually make it slightly thicker. So let me just show you from the, um, the front now how you can see the border from the side where if you would do it a lot thinner, then you, would be you wouldn't be able to see the border. But I can go thin now on here. So I've got the border ready. I'm now gonna go in and kind of create those um, veins that you see in the butterfly wings. So I'm gonna go in and just paint a few lines. And again, you don't want to think too much about the thickness or it being super perfect because um, doing it uh, freehand and without thinking will probably work better for you uh, at the end and it will look a lot nicer.
So I'm adding a little bit more thickness to some of the lines just to kind of make it slightly, you know, more butterfly-like. I love this design, it's so cute and it's probably slightly easier than painting a proper butterfly because you don't have to paint the shapes and color it in and all sorts. We've actually done most of the work already. Yeah, by changing the colors, you could probably achieve a different effect, couldn't you? Like Every time, yeah. If it was maybe green and browns, it would look a bit like a leaf sort of design. Mm, definitely. We can do one actually that's quite autumn-like, inspired by this design. And it's just given me an idea. Yeah, there you go. See, it's full of good ideas, this, this guy. So I've done some lines and now I'm going to go in and cure this for the full length of time, making sure that this layer is nice and dry. So the nail is nicely cured and I'm going to go in with my brush to uh, a 002 brush actually uh, into Snow White. I'm going to go and pick up some paint and just apply, uh, just paint a few dots here and there um, on the black lines that we've painted earlier. Now, you could use a dotting tool if you've got a super, super fine one, but I've tried it with a dotting tool and I found that doing it with a brush actually works better for me. And you can get smaller dots. Could maybe do it with a pen or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was you? thinking about doing it with a toothpick. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have one here, but we can do it with a toothpick as well but it's also a great way to practice guys you know if you want to learn to control the brush more and be doing things with the brush that you haven't done before then use it use it just more and every little thing that you do after becomes easier And I'm going to go ahead and pop this back into the lamp. And yes, we've got this layer cured. And now I'm going to go in with our Urban Graffiti Top Coat. And I'm going to seal all this uh, design in. Um, I'm smiling because I was just going to say goodness. And I feel like I'm saying it too much. But, <laughs> but it's my thing. <laughs> so I'm going to just top coat this bad boy. Um... You want to put a nice thick layer on top of it. You can either put two layers, just one to even it out, or you can just put one very thick one, and it will kind of self-level and seal in all of this design. So just going to do that, cap the edges, and pop it back into the lamp. And this is it, guys our abstract butterfly nail i've done a few here earlier on so you can just see what it looks like side to side how gorgeous is that you can have that with like a few nails that are like black ombre and then you can have two nails that are like this or you can have like plain black and plain pink or glitter nails you can kind of mix and match and it looks really really stunning um, on a full set of nails so yes i hope you enjoyed this one guys something simple cute and fun um, and yeah let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below and as usual don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you all on the next one Take care, guys.